Hi there, my name's Grant Whitehead and I want to show you something that I've messed around with with the TriCaster Not Advanced Edition, uh, just the straight TriCaster. I had an event where I was doing some cricket um, sport and I needed to do replays. And I know that the TriCaster Advanced Edition does great replays. You can do all sorts of stuff and it's all built in nicely. Um, but I wanted to see if I could make um, the Non Advanced Edition do a basic replay and I'm happy to say that I was able to do some pretty cool replays. So the first thing um, that's worth noting is I, I utilize macros and I use this number pad like five dollars. I like inexpensive um, ways of doing things um, just to be able to do some um, uh, some macros and some hotkeys and so um, the first thing was being able to do a replay uh, using the uh, record, start and chop. And so what that is the same as pressing, holding shift and clicking the record button. Um, it it does a, it, it drops a clip into a, a DDR and goes back five seconds. And so it gives you a clip of five seconds back from the time that you um, press the button. And so I've just assigned that uh, to the decimal place on here. So that works great. Um, the other interesting one that I've used is playback toggle. Um, it's interesting to note that there is um, some functions that can be entered into the macro editor that you couldn't record. So if I wanted to try to make a play button, it would be play and then it would be stop as two separate functions. But there is uh, a function called DDR play toggle. Um, and it's as simple as it just toggles as it says. And that's just really handy. You'll, you'll see in a moment um, how I use that. The other really cool one is called DDR relative frame minus one. And so I've assigned that. So we can do frame by frame um, with a control surface, you could do this um, with a shuttle. Without a control surface, the functionality doesn't appear in the interface, but there is a macro for it. And so I've assigned that to the uh, negative and the positive, plus and minus here. Um, and so I've got minus one and plus one as two macros. And so I've got some live footage coming in of some, some uh, public domain footage. <laughs> Um, and uh, and so we get it. We'll get a clip here in a minute, and so I can press my my button. And we'll wait for some play, and then I'll. Here we go. I'll give it sort of some time. Here we go. Any time, boys. There we go. All right, and so now I hit my button. I've got the clip there. It's dropped me back five seconds. I can find the, the in point that I want. And now I'm ready to go. So I can cut to live. <laughs> I can cut to live without... There we go. Cut to live um, and toggle the play. This is running at 100%, but 60% works quite well. And so now we have the play going at 60% and now I can hit back negative I can hold it down goes in reverse and I can do frame by frame you can see the ball and so depending on the how how uh, good the um, footage is, is coming in the quality of the signal um, this can work really well so here I got backward and forward and then I can hit toggle play again if there's a moment to pause, then you can pause it. And that, that was the end of the clip. So the clip starts again, you can cut back. So uh, in the way that I was using it, it was the TriCaster was just a replay machine. I had switched footage coming in. I was literally just doing replays and pumping them out and they would switch them in and out as they needed them. But it could be very, very quick as you could see at any point. I could just quickly grab, that's five seconds. I've got it there. I pull my in point. I'm ready to go. I start playing and away it goes as the, the replay. Now, I've got it running out of an ME just purely just um, to, to have a nice, uh, 
overlay. Um, not that this <laughs> replay overlay is very good. It looks a little 80s. But, of course, that could be any graphic. It could be motion. It could be however you want to do it. Um, and you could get into animated um, uh, anim animated transitions. Um, you could do all sorts of fun stuff with that. So, um, so that's the way that I got replays working, and it worked really nicely. And, of course, the other thing that it does is as you're going through and you're making all these clips, um, in the downtime in between, you can tighten up those in and out points. So, for example, I could get this one playing, and then I could say, okay, hold it there, and then I to make the in point and uh, toggle and keep playing for a little bit. We're still running at 60%, but say I wanted this clip, I just wanted to tidy up my out point and then I'd find it. Okay, that's my out point there. And then I'd say out. And so now I've got my out point and what I'm building is a highlights package on the fly. And so uh, as soon as it came to, um, uh, yeah, a more of a downtime, then I could run a bunch of clips as as highlights. I, I would change the graphic to highlights and we'd, we'd run highlights. So it's actually quite powerful what, what can be done with the combination of, of uh, macros, particularly some functions that are not um, able to be recorded but can be entered in directly, um, and then just some functionality that's already in the TriCaster. So I've just got the TriCaster Mini HD4. You can see it over there. And um, it handles this really well. Um, I, I really had no trouble with it. So um, there's something kind of interesting and cool is doing replays on a standard edition TriCaster Mini. So I hope you found that interesting. If you've got any questions, um, put them in the comments below. Um, and if you, if you have any challenges for me, I love challenges. If you say, I want to do this or I'm trying to, is there a way that we could make some macros do this or something, then um, I'm up for the challenge. Let me know and I'll have a go. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later.